And away we go! Hey everyone, it's me, Adam P. Welcome to another edition of Can We Talk, where we talk about the latest in entertainment and pop culture. So, before we go any further about what we're gonna talk about, make sure you click that subscribe button, please! And check out other videos. Get that tea from me, Adam P. All right, tea, let's dive on in. But remember, it is not that deep. I just realized I don't got my mug. I don't got my mug. No video yesterday because school has been an absolute whirlwind. Whirlwind, like all classes, every single one, the stars aligned, huge projects due in every class. So I was like, I've, oh. Let me just distract my head, call myself, and let's talk some shit. We have a follow-up to the Meek Mill story going on. So, as we know, Meek Mill is sentenced to two to four years in prison after breaking his probation again. But now we're seeing more and more, and it smells a little, a little, a little fishy. So the judge has been following him and his case throughout all these times. He got 10 years of probation for some reason. So he failed the drug test again. <laughs> and if you girls don't remember a few years back, he gave them cold water. Cold water as a sample for his drug test. <laughs> Let's not forget that. But. She sentenced him. However, we're starting to hear more news about, you know, she wanted him to do a Boys to Men cover and shout her out. She also wanted him to be signed on her nephew's record company. Like, sounds complete BS. So now, the FBI is investigating her ass. That's right, so she might be in trouble. Might get, get your judge badge taken away from you. There's a definite middle here. There's definitely a middle here. The judge, if she really did that, that's BS. He deserves a fair, fair trial. And he should get retried before going back to jail. On the other side, it is, though, Meek. Sweetie. Why do you keep breaking your probation all the time? They say you stay in Pennsylvania. He goes to the AMAs. So, I don't, I don't know. Maybe she was trying to do this to be like, even though you're a celebrity, you probably think that you could get away with everything, so I'm going to send you to jail. I would just give him a slap on a wrist next time he does a breaks probation. Send his ass to jail for just a smidge, just a smidge. And next time he does it, just keep going longer and longer and longer and longer until the probation's gone, which I don't, I don't know. I mean, it all depends on if this is true. If this is really true... He deserves a retrial because that's part of our rights and our constitution. We deserve a fair trial. People are pissed about this year's 2017 Sexiest Man Alive from People Magazine. Blake Shelton's on the cover. So people were like, so many people on Twitter were like, why is he Sexiest Man Alive? He ain't the Sexiest Man Alive. He is blah, 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 blah. And like, he's not an ugly guy. He's just not... Wowza, sexy. But every year, girls, we have to understand this is all just a promo stunt. All a promo. Whoever gets Sexiest Man Alive, that is a great time to plug in whatever the hell you're doing. Blake, though, like, why does he need to plug in the voice? We know he's in the voice. We see him every single damn time. So, I don't know. It's like, ugh. It's like, okay. Last year was Dwayne Rock Johnson. Good choice. I do agree. Um, it's just people. I don't know. I've noticed the headlines that it was just people pissed over stuff that are re really little things. So is he sexist man alive? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That is in my opinion, though. However, you know, the people magazine, middle-aged white people, still want to read them. That's their audience still. So Blake Shelton's probably a good choice. If I call that my mom, she would think that Blake Shelton is sexy though. I think so. I think so. Like my mom would find him attractive. So if I had to chose a sexiest man alive replacement, I mean every year, all year would be Zac Efron. Duh. But someone who was big this year, 
sexiest man. I wouldn't put Sean Mendes yet. He's he's not sexiest man alive. He's cute. It could have been that um dude, uh, the Trident guy, Sea World, Aquaman. Jesus, the guy who plays Aquaman. I know a lot of people really find him really sexy. So he could have gotten it. Good plug in for Justice League, you know. Great plug in. They need it. They need it. <laughs> Alrighty, well that wraps another segment of Can We Talk. Once again, let me know what you guys think of all these hot topics down below. Check me out my other videos, you know, just cruise around. Don't be afraid to share. Do not be afraid, girls. And once again, hit me up on my social media. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright, bye guys.